Hello folks, Jolt here with another Lego creation. And today we'll be looking at my version of Papyrus from the game Undertale. Now Undertale is a game that I have not played, but would like to play. Papyrus here is the apparently second boss of the game. And it is hard not to like this guy. All right, just to point a few things out. Of course you have a, supposed to be a white skull, white armor. That's the lightest shade of gray I have. Sadly, I don't have these dome armor add-ons in white. Would like to get that if I can. Red gloves, supposed to be mittens. I had one idea for mittens, but they did not work out right at all. The pieces that I really needed to use for it, turns out I did not have in red. Or at the very least, I could not find them. Blue pants. I don't know, it's just in his character model. Just wears blue shorts. And big red boots. One, one last final detail. He has a red cape. That is the best I could do for this cape. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's the best that I could do. Now, Papyrus here does have a few accessories. Namely, a small heart piece. This is the form the player takes in order to dodge his attacks. And of course, there's his special ability, where he turns you blue. So you can only jump and move, but you can't move freely. He also has a couple of bones to use for his attacks. Those are his attacks, though. He would just throw his bones at you. Again, not what I had in mind. The hand idea I wanted to do would have had him actually grasping the bones instead of looking like a really bad Wolverine impersonation. But they still turn out okay. And last, we have his other bone attack. Blue bones that you avoid by not moving. It is a thing, and from what I've seen, it's surprisingly difficult. Although in this pose right here, you can see one main flaw with the boots. I could not get them as flexible as I wanted them. I probably did a little too much on them. There's Actually, a fairly easy way to fix this, now that I look at it. But yeah, his, uh, his ankles don't go forward as much as I would like. So posing can be a little difficult. They do go side to side just fine, though. But forward and back, it's very limited. And so that is my version of Papyrus from Undertale. Overall, it was a fun build. Not quite what I had in mind. There's a lot of things I wanted to do. Ended up not working. But the end result, I think, is pretty faithful to the actual game. So I thank you folks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will see you folks next time.